Everyone knows Winnie the Pooh, the tubby little cubby all stuffed with fluff, the willy-nilly silly old bear, but how many people know about the real-life origins of this beloved children's character? We here at Screen Rant are willing to bet that there are at least a few of you who don't. Luckily, we're going to remedy this right now in this video. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload fresh content. I thought we were just having fun. We're writing a book and we're having fun. A. A. Milne. Alan Alexander Milne was a novelist, playwright, and poet from London, England, who is to this day best known for his iconic creation, Winnie the Pooh. Before he got to that, however, Milne had quite the interesting life. After graduating with a bachelor's degree in mathematics from Trinity College, Milne began writing humorous articles alongside his brother, Kenneth Milne, which came to the attention of many publishers. Milne quickly became a contributor and later an assistant editor for a British humor magazine, where his writing really started to shine. The last sadly didn't last too long, however, as Milne joined the British Army during World War I, where he served as an officer in the infantry and later military intelligence. His service came to an end in 1920 at the rank of lieutenant, shortly before the birth of his son, Christopher Robin Milne. Milne would actually later on return to military duty during the Second World War as captain of the British Home Guard in Hartfield and Forest Row. Only a few years after the war ended, though, Milne sadly passed away in 1956 at the age of 74. Pooh? The Bear. The iconic yellow bear that we know as Winnie the Pooh wasn't actually named such when he was initially conceived in the first bits of literature in which he appeared. Milne released a short poem named Teddy Bear in 1924 based off of his son's stuffed bear, Edward. It wasn't actually until a Christmas story published in 1925 that the Winnie the Pooh that we know was named as such. But where does that name come from? If Christopher Robin's bear was named Edward, where did Milne get Winnie? Winnie was actually the name of a Canadian black bear that that lived in a London zoo that Christopher Robin Milne took a liking to, whose name comes from the bear's former owner's hometown of Winnipeg. In 1926, the first collection of Pooh Bear's stories appeared in the book Winnie the Pooh, which confirmed that Winnie was in fact based upon Christopher Robin Milne's teddy bear. Readers were also introduced to Pooh's friends, who themselves were also based upon other toys belonging to the young child, with the exception of Owl and Rabbit, who were created purely by Milne and not based on any toys belonging to his son. But of course it wasn't really a half-lap. Are you hearing I yourselves? You need to quit. Christopher Robin. And speaking of his son, we would be remiss to not take a moment to talk about Christopher Robin. Not the fictional one, mind you, the actual Christopher Robin Milne. As the inspiration for such an iconic series of children's stories, including what could be argued is the main protagonist of many of those tales, it's easy to see that Christopher Robin Milne had a hard time during his life escaping from the shadow of Winnie the Pooh. As a youth, Christopher naturally loved his father's stories and the kind of fame that came with it, stating on numerous occasions that he liked being Christopher Robin. As he grew older, however, and after his father's passing, he began to develop a sort of love-hate relationship with his father's legacy, going out of his way to avoid any sort of association with his fictional namesake on multiple occasions. Curiously though, as an adult, Christopher and his wife Leslie moved to Dartmouth and opened a bookstore there, which his mother pointed out as an odd decision, as it almost guaranteed that he would encounter fans of the Yellow Bear. In the later years of his life, somewhere around 1987 or so, Christopher gave the toys that inspired his father's characters to the book's publisher, who in turn donated them to the New York Public Library, where they are still on display to this day. Oh, poo, <laughs> sure, uh, what's a poo? And that is our video. So now we wanna know, was Winnie the Pooh a beloved part of your childhood? Which of his classic tales is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the movies.